<laughs> Listening to your music, it sounds like there is hardware analogs like sounds in there. Uh, not really. I mean, that sounds like that's because I do, that's a good yeah, thing. I do. I do process a lot of the sound, you know, kind of distortion and make them really dirty. But I've been using analog stuff back in the past just to do background sounds mm, okay. to make the the create the crispy and dirty stuff. But I do process every synthesizer like VST with a lot of VST to make them really not dirty, dirty, but to some yeah. right. more real. Yeah, yeah. So what um, like plugins or VSTs are you using to create that? I use uh, Di Diva. Predator, silent a lot. You know, most of the people really hate silent because it does have fake sounds. But if you know how to make them dirty and real, is I love it. Yeah. And machine, really, really basic stuff. A lot of stuff from waves. You know, compression, fab filter a lot for delays, filters, and this kind of stuff. I try to learn something new all the time, so. I wanna, you know, not repeat doing the same music. Or, of course, I can. I found out my style like three years ago. You know who I am and what I, I can do. I try to follow that way, but I try to learn something new and put something new in. Like always, update myself with the uh, new sounds or new way to work. <coughs> I keep this? learning. Yeah. And how did you originally learn? Are you on Ableton? Do you use yes, Ableton? Yes, yes. So how did you originally learn? Because a lot of our fans and students that come to the studio, that's maybe one of the biggest things that they face when they start off is actually how to learn it and how to keep going and stay motivated to keep going because at the start it's very difficult. As I said, I do music for feeling good, no, because I need to prove something to someone. And it's always been this way, you know, nothing I had in the beginning, nothing I have now, I keep doing and working hard just because I want to prove myself, then I can do, can do more all the time. Of course, if gigs and you sign big labels, of course, it does make you happy. But until now, even if I release some good labels, I still have some no, like some closing doors, because it's the way it, sh it should be. You know, you keep doing... As soon as they refuse you, you say, well, why? Of course, music is, um, you know, if something does, some artist does like your music, doesn't mean that's not good. You know, it depends on the mood and you are, of course, the style. It's opinions, isn't it? It's just of course. Opinion. Yes. Yeah. You can not like, you know, be liked from everyone. It's just yeah, the way music is. There's a, an interesting point where, um, when it comes to producing anything, it's like, if you can just build, if you like the thing you're making, whether it's music or videos, you know, a lot of people won't like it, but there'll be a, there'll be a percentage of people that really that like, like it. Of course. So that's, of course. What you're, that's what you're after, isn't it? Like, mm. people to... You just need to be yourself. Otherwise, yeah. you know, you're going to end up yeah, 